was 25 years ago tonight. A tornado strong enough to rate as an EF5 hit our area. It became known as the Bright Harrison Tornado because of the two communities hit hardest. As WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick shows us tonight, they are remembering the disaster in Harrison as they raise money for the Red Cross. Yeah, well, the tornado hit this very street here in Harrison 25 years ago today. Not many remnants of it left, except in the minds of those who lived through it. Her pictures of destruction are clear. This was the kitchen. She and the roof's gone. But it's all even more vivid in the memories of those like Jenny Ginn. It was for us 25 years. It's like it happened last week. You know, that all just stays with you. The tornado demolished her home in bright Indiana. Bricks were gone. Okay, and the roof of the porch was gone, and the garage was, you know, like totally collapsed. She's not alone. 25 years ago, we found thousands affected. When I heard the siren, I immediately went to the basement, and within five minutes, it hit. The tornado had winds over 210 miles an hour. More than 50 homes were destroyed. Hundreds more were damaged. 37 were injured, but amazingly, no one was killed. The thing I remember most is there were these black, dark, ominous clouds. Don Kuntz and his wife laid over top of their children in the bathtub as the tornado bore down on them. And the tornado hit. We could actually feel the tub going up and down. Today, Don is with Skyline Chili in Harrison, where they're raising money, giving 10% of the proceeds today to the Red Cross for future disasters. As they look back on one from the past. And the event here at the Harrison Skyline runs until 9 o'clock tonight. Brian Hamrick, WLWT, News 5. And as you saw there, we were digging through our archives, uh, finding some old footage, found our news coverage from 1990 when the tornado hit. And you can see more of it and those stories on the WLWT app or on our website, WLWT.com. Check out.